bahal gida pagpati ni Philippine Coffee Alliance President Alvira Reyes nga bahal ang puturo kang industriya kang kape kag kakao sa antike. Sunod sa kay Reyes nga kinahanglan gid lamang ang pagbinuligay kang tanan sa pagtugro kang kapasidad sa mga antikenyo nga naimbulbar sa mo nga industriya. Yes, yes. I have no doubt. I have no doubt that Antique will make it. Given, given this energy in the room, you can you can feel it. You can see it. I see the signs already that if we really just help each other without really fighting it out, I know we each have our own weaknesses. We have to strengthen them. We have to fill in the gaps, and we have to stop. We have to stop thinking negative about other people or other sectors in our industry, but just work together, especially for antique. Ano tayo magtutulungan? Ang ang pwede ko lang sabi na ipano tayo magtutulungan, because I cannot I cannot do everything. I can motivate probably, I can inspire, we can do our own little patch of work but it has to be integrated with all the others, just like coffee. See, coffee tree is best grown in biodiversity together with all the trees in the forests. Coffee is a very friendly tree. I would always say that because coffee grows best when they grow together with other trees in the forest. Besides, it will make your coffee taste better. Angat ka tiyagin pa nga ako ni Reyes ang kahandaan kang Philippine Coffee Alliance sa pagtugro kang bulig sa mga antikenyo, pagi sa pagtudlo sa mga dya kung paano manginigosyante sa kape kagkakao. Okay, we're transforming farmers to become farmer entrepreneurs. That's our mantra. Let the farmers earn more, not just by having beautiful coffee, but by becoming the active players in the vertical value chain of coffee meaning they have more they are more empowered farmers should be more empowered not just become farmers but we want the farmers to become farmer entrepreneurs farmer doctors farmer practitioners farmer scientists farmer roasters baristas connoisseurs so that down the line they will own up the business of coffee the next thing to do is here localize the in, uh, have a very empowered council cacao and coffee council and localize the roadmap for antique you see every province would have its own custom fit approach and strategy we cannot do one single approach for everybody but i do believe that antique will make it our private company will buy philippine coffee alliance will uh, is an aim enabling partner as far as training is concerned, skills development, capacity building, networking, that would be the work of the Philippine Coffee Alliance. Dialogues with different stakeholders in the industry because we do not want the farmers to be um, tied with, uh, with an agreement that will not be able for them, that will not enable them to, to change or to amend. You see, for the past 10 years, we have been buying coffee. We have not entered into any contract with farmers. But what we do is um, a relationship building where we develop the relationship, to nurture it. It's a different, you see, working with farmers is very different from working with another business. It's not a business to business. Sa naman an, nga sunu ka na nga una nanda ka dya pagatudluan na mo ang mga mangunguma kang kape halin sa barangay Kaluoy, si Balam. Kaluoy is a very small community, uh, considered still lowland as far as coffee elevation is concerned. But Kaluoy is committed. Kaluoy has the potential because um, they have already old trees to start with from their mga lolas and lolo. I saw a different, I saw a mix of young and old in Kaluoy yesterday. We did some mini cupping. It was a start for them. 
that their coffee can taste good and can really be served here in Antique. Ang pagid ka dyan, ginaduso ni Reyes nga mga nagapangunang produkto rin sa Antique ang mga singgarong kag-organic coffee. Singgarong coffee, it has to be a united movement. I would call it a movement because this is the right time, the right time for Antique to move up and to be known as in the industry of coffee and probably also with cacao um, linked together with tourism we'd like to make singarong coffee and uh, organic coffee as part of the whole uh, actions that we are formulating now because if it's just singarong coffee it will just be a specialty coffee but we'd like to to, to do mainstream and when we go mainstream it should just not be a single uh, kind of coffee but the whole cake kasi pag singarong lang very small lang yan it may be high value but it's very low volume and not all farmers will have singarong but if we talk about organic coffee it's mainstream coffee Sa naman ang nga nagabot si Reyes sa Antique, agad ipakita sa mga local coffee kag cacao industry players ang estado kang industriya. Kag investment opportunities kang kape sa tion kang provincial coffee and cacao investment fora kang Miyerkule sa pagpatigayon kang Department of Trade and Industry Antique. Ginpagigbayan man ni Department of Trade and Industry Antique Manager Mercedes Young nga sanda ang nagabulig sa mga coffee kag cacao industry players paagi sa industry clustering kag pagpatigayon ka mga sahi nga fora. The demand for coffee is very big and the potential of the Antique coffee is very good. Ang ato ng mga farmers would benefit from the value chain. We have a uh, uh, what we are looking for are committed farmers who will plant the variety which will be sold in the market, that may demand the market. Uh, we, uh, we want to, our farmers to be trusted so that they deliver the quality products that they commit to deliver so that we will not uh, spoil the image of Antique. We are starting. And we should start right and continue to do the right thing so that we will be able to really hasten the growth and development of the coffee industry in the province. Options stand out who to sell to. Okay, maybe they just know the traders and they are enslaved somehow by the terms and conditions of these traders. They should be able to, to reach out to other possible buyers. And when they are organized in groups, they would have a better, a higher selling power, a stronger selling power. Because as a group, you can, ano, you can negotiate for a better price. Ito ko din natin ang adyang guru haton, investment fora. Gusto natin mamanan ka mga farmers, ka growers natin, na may oportunidad, may business opportunity diya sa coffee. Kaya kung kaisa, we just take coffee for granted. Kaya dyan lang sa palibot natin. Without even realizing that if we take very good care of our coffee, we can harvest very good quality beans and then have a better prime pra, uh, better selling price. Sa naman an, sa ginpatigayon nga darwa ka nga fora, ginpakita sa mga participantes ang mga estado kag investment opportunities sa industriya kang kape kag kakao. Sandang intudluan man kung paano mga negosyante sa pagpanguma paagi ng Day Antique Council Chairperson Lorena Lavalyasca kag Antique Cacao Council Chairman Ramon Iwag. Gayun presenter man kag mga tiglawa sa Linsa Land Bank of the Philippines, Development Bank of the Philippines kag Small Business Corporation ang andang financing program para sa mga gusto mag-invest sa kape kag kakao. Angat ka dyan, panawagan man si Reyes sa tanan. We are starting something very momentous here for Antique, especially for coffee. And uh, let's do it together. Uh, we can, uh, I have belief and faith. And uh, I, I see that in a, year's, in a year or two, I will see a lot more coffee shops here in the retail end and a lot more coffee trees, higher production. 
that's for Antique. And Antique will be in the coffee map. Philippine coffee map at the very least. Kayimo kay Erwin Ricarse. Para sa Balita Lakayan Update, Joy Pechon Vego.